Well, I understand this is the fourth year, and this is my first, and uh, certainly exceeded my expectations. I really didn't know what to expect for sure, but uh, the caliber of individual that's here, the uh, amount of information that I uh, learned and, and taken uh, two full pages of notes, and uh, I certainly would like to, to return. The idea of topology optimization, where you let the, the computer or mathematics decide where to locate material. And, and so it's a, a concept that's been used in the past to optimize designs, but in reality, it's been difficult to, to manufacture these parts. Uh, you can uh, learn from, from this exercise, but then you really, in large part, revert back to conventional processes. And, and so with additive manufacturing, you can create almost any shape, and so now you can apply this uh, to the point of not only design but actual manufacturing. And so what this does is it can reduce uh, uh, material to uh, a minimum, and so that reduce, reduces weight, uh, material cost, and also uh, manufacturing speed because the more material that you have to process, the longer it typically takes. So uh, there's three gains from, from using this, uh, this concept of optimization. It's been used some uh, for uh, tests to see what's possible and, and to uh, hopefully take it the next step further. Uh, Airbus is a big proponent of the idea and they're currently uh, qualifying and, and at some point certifying parts that would be done in this way. For more than uh, 10 years, the organizations have been doing this uh, in China and other places. Uh, it was about nine, nine and a half years ago, I saw a bone that was implanted into a, a dog that was done this way. So the idea is to print a, a resorbable scaffold structure that retains or shows, reflects the, the shape and size of the body part, in this case bone, as a femur uh, on this dog. And then within that, uh, very poor structure by the way, within this poor structure, uh, live cells are deposited in various ways, uh, typically with an inkjet printing process or, or even a deposition process where, much like a fused deposition, uh, where it extrudes through a, a nozzle. Uh, in any case, you want those cells to uh, survive and thrive, and then that's implanted into the, uh, into the patient, or in this case, the dog. Uh, and then uh, over time, the uh, scaffold structure breaks down and absorbs into the body as the living cells take over that space. And then now they're working on soft tissue as well, like bladders, they've done uh, pieces of bladders. Eventually they want to do kidneys, uh, other organs, because the demand uh, far exceeds the supply of uh, human organs such as kidneys. It's a good question. I hadn't really given it much thought until I heard uh, this past summer a gentleman from uh, GE Aviation state that uh, his boss's boss, a fairly high level but well connected individual within GE, uh, believes that uh, GE will be building uh, up to and maybe even more than 50% of a, a gas turbine engine by additive manufacturing, which is really astounding. Uh, they disclosed uh, just not too long ago that. They're planning to manufacture a fuel injector in this way, this way, and that will be in production next year and by 2016 in full production for these uh, engines. Well, uh, certainly the laser, in the context of additive, additive manufacturing, is uh, is very important. The laser sintering processes use laser. Uh, as do the selective laser melting uh, type processes where you're doing uh, metal with lasers. Uh, there are some non-laser processes as well, uh, but uh, by far the, the laser has, has played the most important role in processing powders, both plastics and metals. Well, I guess we don't really know it. It's kind of like the semiconductor business back in the 1960s and 70s. We knew it was going to be very, very big, but we really didn't know how big it would become and look at it today. And I think the same is true here. No one really knows how big it will, will become, but when you look at uh, uh, 
aircraft parts, automotive, uh, dental, medical, printing human tissue, uh, pulling 3D model data out of uh, games such as World of Warcraft and, uh, and a company has developed as a result of that. Uh, jewelry, games, the list goes on and on. I, I, you know, I would challenge you to name an industry that won't be impacted if it hasn't already in this, uh, this business of uh, additive manufacturing. And I truly believe that uh, additive manufacturing will, be, will develop to become the, uh, the most important, uh, the most strategic, and most useful manufacturing technology ever to exceed injection molding, all kinds of castings, uh, CNC milling, uh, die casting, blow molding, name your favorite manufacturing process. This will become bigger and uh, more used by a much, much wider audience than, uh, than any other uh, technology available. It's just a real pleasure to be a part of this event. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, your, uh, your group and, and the staff. Uh, it's really been first class. Uh, I'm just really I'm glad that uh, I was able to, to be here and, and I want to uh, wish you the best in uh, future events.